Indiana on top by half game over Michigan State, one over Ohio State, and here we go. This will be Carlos Snow, the freshman, bringing it out for Ohio State, and he'll have it out to the 22-yard line. It's not out of the ordinary for Earl Bruce. I don't know what is. 79 yards. Everett Ross, who was out last week due to the concussion he suffered in the Purdue game. And with this game 15 seconds old, the Buckeyes lead it 7 to nothing. Third down, now 10. McAllister wanting to throw. Sullivan comes storming through. He's got some running room. He's going to get a first down across the 30, 35. And he ad lips his way out to the 38. A great deal or effectively. He's looking downfield for his receivers. He's getting pressure by, by number 67, Mike Sullivan. But one thing about Bobby McAllister is that he likes to run. 18-yard run that time by McAllister. Sets it up with the 38. McAllister on first down. Pressure coming up the middle. He gets it off to his fullback, James Moore. And Moore rambles to the 45. White averages 30 carries a game. He is a workhorse for this Michigan State team. Here's Moore, got a big hole. He's to the 25, to the 20, another first down. They want to have the fullback to have a big day. The two linebackers, middle backers, are going to key on Lorenzo, which means the fullback, James Moore, on belly plays like that, has to have a big day for Michigan State to take pressure off White. Long seven to go after this penalty. Receivers wide left and wide right. Tupa back. Good protection. Throws kind of a sidearm flip to Higdon, the tight end. The snap is good from Tom Moore. The kick coming up on the fly is Crum. He's got it at the 40, 45, 50. And he's into the Ohio State end of the field at the 47-yard line. Good field position for Michigan State. Good second effort. Got the first down for Ohio State from the 32. To the back, scrambling up. He's going to take off, and he takes a real hit. Todd Crum, the free safety up, and popped him there. Third down now, five yards to go for the Buckeyes. Tupa, flag on the play, and almost intercepted by Crum, and Crum has five interceptions this year, almost had that one. Everett Ross, the intended receiver. The snap is perfect, and he hits this one out especially high. Crum has it at the 20-yard line. Good return to the 35, the 40, and Crum all the way out to the 45-yard line. And again, Michigan State will have excellent field position. Second down, nine. McAllister with time. Now Cumro's coming after him. He spins out of there. Nice move. Look at this athletic move to the 10, 5. McAllister lunging. Touchdown. The only thing old-fashioned about this football game is the way they're hitting and blocking. As you watch Bobby McAllister looking downfield, he spins right here, but he's getting a great block by his people downfield. Lorenzo White gives him a key block as he spins here and gets in the end zone to even up this game at seven apiece here in Ohio. Second down five from the 25-yard line. Snow again, he's in trouble because Mark Nichols, yeah. second team all Big Ten guy back there to storm him for a loss back to the 20-yard line. And they're in that slanting position, that former Steeler defense. Back to throw to, but look out, blind side up the field, and it's intercepted. It is picked off, and that is Crum, and that is his sixth interception of this year. Now watch the pressure he gets on as he comes crashing through in the game they play from the outside coming underneath. All right, and the pressure, they're just going to make the tackle on Tupa. You see him looping to the outside, the game's underneath. Just as Tupa's about to throw the football, he is hit there from the backside. That results in the ball thrown too high where Crum can make the interception. Hand off to White. There's that cutback ability of the Heisman Trophy candidate. He's very close to a first down as he comes short of the 25-yard line. Flying low to attempt another field goal. He missed a 33-yarder. This is a 40-yard attempt on the way, and this time he's got it. So Langlo gives Michigan State their first lead of the game. They lead it 10-7. 13 yards to go. 40 seconds left in this first quarter. Rolling out is Tupa. Tupa to Hickton. Hickton makes the catch. He's hit instantly and driven out of bounds by John Miller, number 44. Right now, we have a third down, seven yards to go for Ohio State as we start the second quarter. 10 to 7, Michigan State with the lead. Tom Tupa on third down, back to throw. And he's right into the arms of the opponent. And falling down with the ball 
is Kurt Larson, number three, the junior out of Waukesha, Wisconsin. One wide receiver, Andre Risen to the near side. McAllister rolling this way. Chase is put on by Spielman. He misses him, and McAllister goes out of bounds. There's a flag, a late flag, I think a late hit at the 31. Fred Ritter is over there to make contact. Spielman looked like he was shot out of a cannon over there trying to get to McAllister, and Bobby got away from him. Wide receiver is trying to get the isolation, but here is why Spielman is so good. He sees it. Look at the angle he takes. Inside the lead blocker, gives himself a shot at Bobby McAllister. The only thing that makes that a bad play for Ohio State is that Bobby McAllister has got the good legs, the good speed, and he just steps out of the tackle. 10-7 instead. McAllister, again, same play, following his back through, and he has the first down to the five-yard line. Field goal attempt, 20 yards by Langlo. A little chip shot, and he's right down the middle. So Michigan State has to settle for the field goal. Langlo now, two of three, and it's 13 to seven Michigan State. Third down, five yards to go. That's work for number 42 in motion. Two button, and have to run, and he paid for that one. Number 48, Percy Snow, the leading tackler for Michigan State, and Travis Davis, 75 over there and dropped him. McAllister on a roll. Got Montgomery and White throwing blocks. He hurdles to the 33-yard line. It'll be a couple of yards short of the first down. Michigan State, they trail early, 7 to nothing on a 79-yard touchdown pass. Here's McAllister, wide open field on the keeper to the 40, and he's to the 35. The only thing different about this play from the other plays is that he ran them into the short side of the field. This one he takes to the wide side. He got a great block. McAllister, a lot of time. Over the middle. That just made by Risen and Risen to the 20. And they pick it up. They get the first down. They needed 20 and they got 24. That shows you the big play capabilities of this guy. It was a terrific pass and a great catch because he catches this ball in his hands on the run. Now watch him as he comes across. That's not an easy catch. He sideways, the ball comes firing in there. He almost drops it, but hangs on to it and most importantly picks up that first down. So Ohio State. It's got to be feeling they're very fortunate to be trailing just 13 to 7. This will be the last play of the first half. Tupa will be dropped for a loss all the way back inside the 15-yard line. That's Chris Sunland, the freshman redshirt, number 64, over to make the stop for the Spartans. 13 to 7, our score at the halfway point in favor of Michigan State. Third and 14 for the Buckeyes. Tupa is buried. Travis Davis, number 75, a sophomore out of Warren, Ohio. There he is. They say he's playing like a senior. In fact, George Purvis said he might be playing over his head. Just reminding you that it's an old-time Big Ten football game. Second down, 10. McAllister, and there's a throwback to the other side to Lorenzo White. White, nice sidestep to the 40, 35. Fine piece of running by Lorenzo White. Chris Spielman eventually caught up with him, and that's a first down for Michigan State. Well, Lorenzo White, if you can't give him the football to free him up, run the fake, get everybody one to the other side. This is almost like a running play, just very controlled passing. What a great move right there by Lorenzo White. Third down, a long three, almost four yards. Play action by Tupa. Pressure coming from Sunland. Tupa's going to have to get out of there. He's in trouble. And he's buried at the 31-yard line. Travis Davis would not give up. They keep it now after the personal foul. Automatic first down out to the 42. Here's Ezor again. Blake Ezor across the 50 to the 49. Ezor out of Las Vegas. Ohio State using their second timeout. They have one remaining. Tom Tupa. Play action fake. Pressure from Travis Davis, and down he goes. Davis has been everywhere tonight. Big sack. Back to throw. On target to Cooper. Cooper to the 35, but way short of the first down, obviously. Well, Ezor is a quality player, and here he comes again. Look at this run. That'll be a first down. Blake Ezor, seven carries, 38 yards. Second down, seven. Here he goes again. And he's just running through arms right now, and he looks like he has another first down. Well, all he's doing is taking advantage of exactly what the defense is giving him. Third down, virtually 10 to go. Ezor 
And he's going to be short of the first down, but he picks up some good yardage to the 37-yard line of Ohio State. Ohio State going down a huddle. Second down, 10. Fry again from the end zone. He's in trouble. Drop from behind, and coming from the backside is Mark Nichols. Fry again from the end zone. Travis Davis has got him. Boy, Davis has played an outstanding game. Number 75. 50 seconds to go and picking up some yardage. McAllister, maybe he knows he was elected MVP. He's going to add to his total. Here's McAllister just trying to kill as much time as he can. No timeouts left for Ohio State. So this one will end. And Michigan State coming back here for the first time since 83. George Perlis beating Ohio State for the first time. And Earl Bruce losing for the first time to a Michigan State team. Congratulations to the Spartans. Also to Nick Vista, who's retiring as a sports information director at Michigan State, and Marv Holman, also for Ohio State. Two fine gentlemen who've been in this league a long, long time. Be retiring at the end of this year. 13 to 7 the score for Steve Alvarez and Lynn Swan. This is Gary Bender saying so long from Ohio Stadium.